Gender identity has often been a taboo and controversial subject for people. It's confusing for many. It's often confused with sexual orientation, and it's been the reasoning behind fear, legal restriction, persecution, hate, and worst of all, in the case I'm discussing, the death of a young man trapped in a body and a life that wasn't meant for him. But what exactly is gender identity? Gender identity is different from one's biological sex. It is the gender that a person feels they identify as, regardless of the genitals they were born with. A biological man can identify as a woman, and vice versa, and live a mentally healthy life. However, serious consequences have, or have arisen when the gender identity of a person has been tampered with by someone who doesn't understand it. This is the case of a baby boy named David Reimer, born in 1965 as a twin, along with his brother Brian. Both of the boys, after having difficulty using the bathroom, were diagnosed with phimosis and were both recommended for a routine circumcision, which the parents consented to. However, the doctor that actually performed the circumcision used a fairly non-conventional method. Instead of using a blade to remove David's foreskin, he used a cauterizing laser and burnt the infant's penis beyond the reach of surgical repair. The boy's parents were terrified. What would his sex life be like? Would he be able to have children? What would happen during his teenage years when questions about the development he wasn't actually experiencing arose? Enter John Money, practicing sexologist, psychologist, and published author. Money specialized in the study of gender, specifically typical confirmation to gender roles and difference in gender identities. His theory was that nature and inborn traits had little to nothing to do with gender identity, and that the true origin of gender identity is just something that people are taught and he planned on proving this theory by forcing a boy to be biologically female his entire life. Essentially, Dr. Money needed a human test subject for a theory he had held for many, many years. Now the perfect opportunity had come along, and Money would exploit it. Money informed the parents of David Reimer that the only option that would give David a foreseeably healthy life was a gender reassignment surgery. At the time, Money actually had no idea whether or not he was saying it was true. All he wanted was to find out, and the child of the Rhymers would be his gender identity guinea pig. The surgery went by without a hitch, and David became a biological female. Money saw no problem with what he had done, and for a few years, neither did David or his parents. Until a few years later. David seemed generally frustrated with everything around him, and all his interactions. He began having trouble at his school, physically abusing his little brother, and complaining that he was uncomfortable and he wanted to be a boy. His parents, drowning in regret, could barely cope with knowing what they had unintentionally done to their son. David's mother attempted suicide unsuccessfully four times, and his father regressed into a pathetic, mute alcoholism. David's regular therapy sessions with Dr. Money didn't seem to be helping, and it would later be discovered that Dr. Money knew absolutely that David Reimer wasn't happy at all, but was absolutely determined to co coerce him into an identity parallel to his biological sex. Eventually, David's parents decided the only option was to tell him what had happened to him. David was 15 years old at the time, and demanded that he had to be changed back to a biological male. The surgery went through, and David was fitted with a prosthesis, but still, after all that had happened, he felt strange. David drifted through his life, was married, divorced soon after, and died at age 38 by suicide. This man's entire life was a case study in gender identity, and the results were clear. One can't be taught such an inborn, subconscious part of their psyche. The case study proved what has been common knowledge for the entire transgender community for many years. It proved that you can't choose your identity, and that whatever genitals you have or don't have are irrelevant. I agree wholeheartedly with this result. I know that the trans community have been fighting for recognition of the fact that their lifestyle is not a choice, and this study proved it by showing that a man whose genitals were female did not become any more female. I suppose if I were to disagree with this study and say that gender was entirely taught or learned throughout a person's life, then my argument would be that David Reimer's particular instance meant nothing, because he wasn't actually born with those genitalia, so it doesn't really matter if he was reassigned to it. If I were to hypothetically agree with the results of what happened to this poor man, I would say that exposure to a largely male household and environment and penis envy would be the entire source of this man's psychological problems during his entire life. However, I truly don't feel that way. I don't believe in penis envy, but if I were that kind of person, it's what I'd say. 